Would you like to see the alignments and the aspects we're talking about this week? Well, check out the weekly overview on the funastrology.com YouTube channel. A picture really is worth a thousand words. Well, I think we're inching one day at a time forward into lighter energy. Hi, everybody. Thomas Miller on the Thursday, August 22nd Fun Astrology Podcast. Virgo season starts this morning at 10.55 a.m. Eastern. This does not deserve a coyote howl. It deserves a yippee! Why? Well, not anything about Leos now, not at all, but I'm just saying Virgo is not fire. (laughs) That's the only thing. It's like it will give us some grounding, and we need it right now. If you're a hiring person, and you can't do this, of course, according to the laws, but if you could... You would hire Virgos because in now you wouldn't want a whole building full of Virgos like you wouldn't want any building full of one sign. But Virgos are such good employees, typically, because they're grounded and they're concerned about everything being in order, including the workplace, including their contribution to the workplace. Steve Forrest, in the Elements series books that I narrated, especially in the Book of Earth, he talked about the famous line that you can always tell a Virgo because their sock drawer is organized. Well, that's a funny, that's a little quip, but the point is Virgos want that kind of organization everywhere. How you do anything is how you do everything. Virgo is an Earth sign, and Virgo is about grounding After what we've been through under Leo's fire, this is a welcome change. You may have felt some of this yesterday, even as the sun was at 29 degrees, Leo, that it was anticipating Virgo and just releasing some of that tension that had built up over the past week and a half. We're out of the full moon phase now. We're in the waning gibbous phase. So that's another benefit. We need all of these stacked together, see? So Luna's not as strong. Sun has changed signs. There's just one aspect in the sky today that we have to slip past. It won't be until late tonight, so we're baking in it all day long, is that square between Venus and Mars. Venus in Virgo, not happy in Virgo, Venus isn't, squaring Mars in Gemini which Mars and Jupiter together in Gemini have proven to be very strong. But tomorrow we have a trine that will be between Mercury and Chiron. Then the last aspect before the moon goes void, of course, is a trine. And then at 8 p.m. tomorrow night, Eastern, the moon enters Taurus. More grounding. So we'll have the sun and the moon in Earth for the basically bulk of the weekend. That's another woohoo! Thank you, Taurus, and thank you, Virgo. So, you know, one of the other characteristics of Virgo is criticism. And I think it stems from that desire for perfection. When something doesn't match, Virgos kind of lash out because that's it's almost like being backed into a corner for Virgos. That disorganization almost is like a threat. It's a threat to their structure, to the, a threat to their system. And the natural reaction is to fix that threat. Now, let's tie this together, because Venus right now is in Virgo. How have you been handling your partner lately? (laughs) Have you been a little critical, perhaps, in your relationship, focusing on things that might not be quite as important? Oh, it would be nice if they, you know, if we had more order in that area, but... Is it really that important to tip the boat, especially under all this energy? And this is why we've been saying, be real careful and count to about 50 in anything related to relationship right now, because that Mars is very strong. It still is being influenced by Jupiter, and it still is in the sign of the twins, the dualistic sign of Gemini. And remember, relationship in this context is not your preferred partner. It could be any kind of relationship. A relationship with between a renter and a landlord is a relationship. If you're in business with somebody, that's a relationship, your business partners. If you're a parent, you have a relationship with your kids, wherever you are on that timeline. 
Hopefully for you, the adult relationship is different than the child relationship, but sometimes it's not, and that causes its own problems. But those kinds of things could be amplified today because with the sun moving into Virgo, Venus already there at 22 degrees, it's almost through, but it just shines more of a light on Venus's discontent in Virgo. And why again do we say that Venus is not happy in Virgo? Well, what's the opposite sign of Virgo on the other side of the chart is the last sign of the zodiac, Pisces, where Venus is happy, exalted. So, in the opposite sign of its exaltation is called the fall. And that's why Venus is not so much happy in Virgo. So that sets us up. I mean, welcome Virgo season. I'm glad to have you. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're going to bring Kristen back, and she's going to talk about the sextile Saturday, and she'll give us that tomorrow. And then I think I might have a surprise for you on Sunday. I'll let you know tomorrow. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. Big hugs. Lots of love. Lots of love.